Hello guys, the Songboy13. Yes, this is the first video in a couple of weeks that I'm actually back in the UK. Yet we've got similar weather, although minus the sunshine, you know what I mean? Um, generally hot weather. Well, I am, compared to Jamaica. So, um, yeah, I think you can tell it is a bank holiday scorcher outside. We've broken potentially four records in the UK. First the hottest February day on record, then the hottest Easter on record, and then the hottest day on record, and then the hottest uh, August bank holiday on record, potentially. So, well, we had it in Wales. Will it be in England? We'll confirm that soon, but quite an incredible year. We've still got another four months to go. What would happen next? Anyways, uh, let's focus for this week's weather. Uh, I don't think it'll be any record-breaking daytime temperatures, if you know what I mean. But, because we've just gone past the hottest peak of the year. But, the weather throughout the week ahead, it is going to be, for the next couple of days, it will remain hot and, of course, quite sunny. But I think from midweek onwards, it will be turning much cooler. Low 20s, which is about right for the time of the year. But there's also a chance on Wednesday we could see a few potential thunderstorms, although the chances are a bit lower compared to a few days ago. But I still wouldn't rule out the odd one though. But let's go through details day by day. Let's start off today. Behind me, you can tell it is a scorcher outside. Lots of sunshine, temperatures easily could reach 29 degrees Celsius. And to be honest, some re places in the region can easily achieve the low 30s at this stage. So uh, we'll find out later on today. And of course, completely nil chance of rain. So perfect if you want to have your barbecue out for bank holiday weekend go for it uh, or just sunbathe get the opportunity tonight will be generally quite clear the night's a little bit longer compared to a couple of months ago but even that the temperatures won't drop too low we could see lows of around 16 degrees celsius so it will be a fairly uncomfortable night for sleeping um so yeah that's the minimum overnight temperature now it's bank holiday monday tomorrow so most workplaces are shut for the day um and it generally, once again, fairly similar, maybe the degree lower, but I think, again, we'll see lots of sunshine, a little bit of fair level cloud, but again, lots of sunshine to be enjoyed for bank holiday Monday. And temperatures, 28 maybe, again, 29 degrees Celsius to high 20s will be easily achievable tomorrow. And again, the rain chances, 0%. Tuesday... Um, there's a, there was a little bit of doubt regarding the temperature. At the moment, we're going to stick to 27 degrees Celsius on Tuesday, but be, it, depending where you are, it could be a little bit lower than that. In Scotland, Northern Ireland, it'll be high teens, maybe low 20s where you are. But in England, Wales, it's another hot day. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see a little bit more cloud on Tuesday, but I think it should stay reasonably dry. The pressure is still in control at that stage, so mostly sunny conditions. Another fairly hot day, 27 degrees Celsius, 10% chance of rain. It's Wednesday that will definitely bring in a huge change. We'll see a cold front sweeping through across Tuesday night and into Wednesday, so it's already going to feel cooler. Um, there is a lot of uncertainty, though, for Wednesday. Depending where you are, in southern England, it's more likely. In the east, middle and central England, the chances are lower. But, like I said, there is a potential, it's a low risk at this stage, for a pop-up thunderstorm, depending where you are. So I would say, mostly dry conditions, much cooler, but still some sunny spells around. But just watch out, there could be the odd thunderstorm, depending where you are. The temperatures will be around 21 degrees Celsius, so a good 5 to 6 degrees drop. And the rain chance will be at around 20%. First day though, I think we're a bit more confident by the end of the week, as the uncertainty uh, clears away, we will be, again the pressure will be relatively high, so we'll keep the settled conditions, not a lot of rain, it's just not going to be as hot and sunny. So on first day, sunny spells, quite pleasant though, uh, for this time of the year, 20-21 degrees Celsius, that's certainly respectable, and uh, generally another dry day, with just a 10% chance of a shower. And for Friday's weather, it's another fine and settled day, again good sunny spells, temperatures, uh, 22 degrees Celsius, quite uh, likely, so another very pleasant day. And once again, 10% chance of a shower. And um, not much change into next weekend, it's not going to be as hot, but I think for next Saturday, which will be the last day of August, interestingly, the last day of summer, uh, we keep the settled conditions, quite warm, sunny spells, 22 degrees Celsius, maybe a degree high, depending where you are. And uh, again, um, just the odd risk of a shower, probably at around 20%, but still reasonably dry at this stage. By the time we approach into the following week, which will be September, and that's when schools and colleges across, well, some schools and colleges will reopen in the UK, um, it's actually not looking too bad. It won't, I don't think it'll be quite as dry. There is an increased risk of a few showers, maybe a little bit of a rain around. But overall, not bad though. Most days will be dry. 
pleasantly warm, high teens, low 20s. It won't be a heat wave by then, as we're quite confident with it. But overall, the outlook uh, for the next fortnight isn't actually looking too bad. So, um, so enjoy the warm weather when you can. So there you go, guys. That's the weather for the week ahead. A hot start, much cooler from Wednesday. A small thunderstorm risk as well on Wednesday. And um, I have more videos to show out to you, uh, coming up to you later today. Um, there is an, one more video in Jamaica where I was walking along a flooded resort. Nothing major, but it's worth uh, getting it out to see how much rain we've had. Because the last day we were in Jamaica, there wasn't a lot of lightning. There was so much rain though, so there's a little bit of footage to show you the next video. And then on Monday, brand new intro and some big updates to reveal uh, tomorrow. So watch this space, you are going to enjoy this. And um, I'm feeling really, really excited for the next few months ahead. You'll find out why tomorrow. Alright guys, like, comment, subscribe, have a fantastic bank holiday weekend and a fantastic week, whatever you're doing. And the storm is now out.